Hello guys and welcome to Python Programming Tutorials by Amulya's Academy. We were discussing about matplotlib package and in this video series we already discussed about how we can give title to the plot as well as how to give a label to the x axis and y axis. Next we will discuss about how to set the x axis limit and y axis limit or we can say the range of x axis and y axis. Matplotlib automatically chooses the range of x and y axis limits to spread the data onto the whole plotting area. But if you want to change that range limit then you can use xlim and ylim function. xlim function is used to set the x axis range and ylim function is used to change the y axis range. First we'll discuss about the xlim function later we'll talk about the ylim function. This xlim function actually allows us to set or get the x axis range. So using this function we can get the current axis range or we can set the axis range however you want. So first we will see the syntax of this xlim function. This function belongs to pyplot module so we need to mention matplotlib.pyplot.xlim. So the function name is xlim. And here you can use arguments or keyword arguments. So we can have zero or multiple arguments and keyword arguments. This is the general syntax of xlim function. But usually we will call this function in three different ways. The first one is to get the current axis range. So for that I will take two variable left and right so the left value of the range and right value of the range and I will call this xlim function. I need to write matplotlib.pyplot.xlim function. This function will give the current axis range of x axis. So let us see the example for this first. So here we have a program to make a simple plot. Here we did not use xlim function. So now if I execute this we will get our graph. And here we can see this will be the left value of x axis range and this will be the right value of y axis range. So if I place cursor here we can actually see the value the x value. So that is the default value of uh, x axis range that is the left value and here we can see the right value. Here we can't see properly because I can't place the cursor at the correct point that is why we will use xlim function to see the default range of x axis. So for that here I will take two variable left and right and I will take plt. plt is nothing but matplotlib.pyplot and here I will use xlim function without any argument. That means it will return the current range of the x axis limit. So we will get the left value and right value. So now if I print left and right if I execute this now here we can see the graph we are not discussing about this here we can see the range so this is the left value and this is the right value minus 0.15 is the left value of the x axis range 3.15 is the right value so in the graph also we can see that this is minus uh, 0.15 and this will be the 3.15. By calling this xlim function without any argument we will get the range of the current x axis. Now if you want to change this limit then you can use the second syntax. So one way to call this xlim function is this that is to get the current x axis range. Another way to call this function is xlim and here left and right. You can mention the left value and right value. This syntax is to set the range of the x axis left value and the right value. So let us see the example for this. Now we do not want to check the current axis range. Now we want to set the x axis range. So I will use plt dot x limb. Next here I need to mention the left value. I will take left value as 1 and right value as 6. Okay 1 and 6. Now I will execute this. Save and run. And in the graph we can see the left value is 1 and the right value is 6. 
So in this way we can set the x axis range limit. We can write this in another way also. We can write this left and right value in a tuple. Okay, like this. And if I save this, we'll get the same result. Okay, 1 and 6. And if you mention only one value here, then it will take that as the left value and it will only set the left value of the x axis. Here we can see 2 and it will take the default value for uh, right value that is 3.15. So another syntax for this is we can write this in the tuple also. And the next way to use this exclaim function is instead of using left and right, we can use the keyword argument left and right. So that is exclaim. I can mention left equal to here I can mention the value and right equal to I can mention the value like this. So instead of mentioning argument you can take this as the keyword argument also. For example, I can take left equal to 5. So that means it only change the left value of the x axis. Here we can see 5 and the last value is here 3.15. So the right value here is 3.15. Or if you want to change only right, you can take right equal to 6. It will change the right value of the x axis. Here we can see. Here it will start from minus uh, 0.15. Okay, so this is about the exclaim function which helps us to set or get the current axis range. Alright, so next let's talk about the whileLim function. This function also works same as the exclaim function. This function helps us to get or set the y limits of the current axis. So the syntax of this function is so this function belongs to pyplot module. So we need to take matplotlib.pyplot.ylim and here you can take arguments or keyword arguments. Okay, we can take zero or multiple arguments or keyword arguments. This is the general syntax of ylim function, but we can call this function in three different ways similar to the xlim function. First one is to get the range limit of current y axis so we need to take y lim we'll use this without any argument so let's see the example for this so i'll take two variables bottom top so first it will give bottom value next top value so that's why i took bottom comma top next plt dot y lim okay so it will give the current y limit so I'll print this bottom top. So it will give the default value. So bottom is 0.85 and top is 4.15. So this is 0.85 and this is 4.15. We can use this while limit function like this to get the current while limit. If you want to set the while limit, then you need to use this function like this while limit. And here you need to mention bottom and top. So let's see the example for this. So now plt dot y limit. I'll take bottom as 2 and uh, top as 6. Here we can see bottom as 2 and top as 6. You can take this value in the tuple also like this. We'll get the same result. If I give only one value here, it will take that as the bottom value. Here we can see it will start from 3 and the ending value is here 4.15, the default value. Next, instead of using this as argument, if you want, you can take this as keyword argument also that is top and bottom value. So use this as the keyword argument, you need to mention that uh, variable name. So if I take bottom as 3, I need to mention bottom equal to 3. And now if I execute this, here we can see bottom is 3. Top, it will take the default value. If you want to take both, here you can take bottom top equal to 8. Like this. Or you can set only top. Like this. For bottom, it will take the default value. Okay, so this is about the xlim and ylim function. 
if you call this function without any argument then it will give the current y limit and x limit if you want to change the y limit range then you can use this function like this y limit bottom and top for the y limit function for the x limit function you can mention the left and right value okay so that's it for now guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will meet you in next class till then take care